Hi. Previously on Help My PS3 is Trying to Burn My House Down, we took this PlayStation 3 and examined it after it tried to have a little fireworks display of its very own to see what the damage was. If you'd like to see that, have a look at the card up in the top corner. And we're now going to replace the power supply unit. Hi, welcome to the Mammoth Tech Show. I'm Jeff. I'm Frankie. And today we'll be putting back together the PlayStation 3, which we took apart in our last episode. And as I said before the intro, this will be a power supply replacement. We have a nice replacement power supply from Replace Base. Yes. We've also got a new camera angle pointing right down for a nice professional top-down view. And we've got our refurbished yes. power supply from yes. Replace Base. And we're going to try and put it back in. It should just be a basic reversal of what we did previously. The trick will be, will it work once it's all back together again and was there any other damage to the unit other than the power supply so let's find out so we've got the top of the playstation 3 and we've got our refurbished power supply unit here and we just need to lower it into place and ensure that we don't trap any of the cables so we'll go right side DC first, and then move that cable out the way. Drop that in, and that's in place. We just then pop the power supplies back in. That's in there, and this one will click in. There we go. Nice click, we know that's in. And now there are a couple of little screws, if you'd like to retrieve them from that um. useful magnetic tray. Just in place. There we go. That's secured back in. And really, that's the end as far as the internal part is concerned. Now it's just getting the top back on again. Yes. It seems a lot quicker putting it back together than it is taking it apart. Yes. <laughs> so we're just putting the seven large flip screws and the four Torx Type 8 security screws back in place. So we now have the little caps, but we won't put these on just yet. We'll do the testing first. So we took the PS3 outside, you know, just in case, and then plugged it in. Would we get boom or no boom? Okay, contact.
it's the moment of truth. We've got it set back up underneath the TV. Just got to hit that pass and see if it works. What do you reckon, Frankie? Let's see. Okie dokie. Sounding good? Hasn't blown up yet. Hasn't blown up yet. Ooh. Something's happening. Yay! Yay! It says PS3 and everything. Yeah, we didn't trust it was prepared. No! Yay. Wow! <laughs> it's like amazing. Ah, there we go. There we go. It's got the remote control set up to control it for the minute. There we go. There. I haven't got the back just now. Yeah, I haven't got the actual controller set up, but uh, what have we got here that we could? It's all there. Yeah. Yep. I reckon that's working. What do you reckon, Frankie? Yay! It looks promising to me. Yay! Turn it off. Yes, turn it off. I vote not keeping it plugged in. <laughs> I think that's a success. Don't you? Yes, definitely. Brilliant. Yay! Victory for the Mammoth Tech Show. Yay! Right. And on that, we'll call that a, uh, a victory and the end of this little two-part show. Thank you very much for following us through this um, cliffhanger of a episode. And if you like this, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up because they always help. Comment if you've got anything you'd like to input and that's it for me and Frankie. Bye. Bye. Oh.